Hello guys and welcome to PES 2011. Back then Pro Evo was just about managing to keep up with FIFA. In fact, this edition of the franchise came only a couple years after Pro Evo first managed to secure the licensing rights for the UEFA Champions League. Now that was big. To celebrate their Champions League coverage, we're going to revisit the Champions League final from 2010-2011. It was at Wembley Stadium between Barcelona and Manchester United. If you don't remember the score, then literally do not worry because this is going to be even better. Eh, maybe. So join me, Liam Curtis, a YouTube guy pretending he knows about gaming, and of course the usual and more than often terrible PES commentators of John Champion and Jim Beglin. John Champion and alongside me Jim Beglin and we're both thoroughly enjoying the atmosphere at Wembley. Thanks John, hello everyone. Well I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. This could be a real cracker. Here's the starting lineups then from what I can remember Barcelona's is pretty decent. Yeah, wow, Ibrahimovic via Messi up front. Man United not so much. I can see Van der Sar. Is that Gaz Neville? Yeah. Berbatov and Dan Fletcher in the cam roll. Yeah, don't know how this is going to go for them. Ibrahimovic is that? It's, it's got to be. The graphics aren't great here, but we'll get we'll jump straight in. Here's Gary Neville and tackled by Maxwell. So the two best wing backs in the world, by the looks of it, at this stage. Can't believe that. Ferdinand bringing it down. Ooh, Man United could be in trouble here. Breaking through. The running movement is so awkward. It just doesn't quite look right. Here's Ibrahimovic. Is, it's in. Was that Ibrahimovic? My capture card nearly died. Nearly cut out, but it's a goal. It's 1 0 Barcelona. We can have a look at it again here. Everest tracking back. Tries to get the tackle in, and he's ended up uh, upending himself using uh, the wrong, wrong boot. Came in wrong sided, and it's 1 0 Barcelona, guys. And it looks like it could be a second. Man United not being able to kick off. Um, kind of like a 10 year old does. Barcelona, some more tick attacker, beautiful PK with that technique that you can only have in Pez where you manage to turn and kick it at the same time. So half time it was 1-0 Barcelona as you can see. Let's go into the second half. Kick off again, Man United running straight through. This is probably one of the only chances of the game. Rooney straight over pants. Here it is. Why is it only on old football games where you can just run straight through the middle? Whether you're playing with a computer or playing each other friends it's just one of the easiest tactics it makes no sense out wide then maxwell bombing down the line i slated him over uh, uh, earlier oh he's got around neville though great ball don't know what van der Sar's doing messy is that it's got to be messy sure he's got that cut that bad haircut it's messy it's 2-0 barcelona maxwell done very well to keep that in van der Sar's just throwing himself at that it'll be very disappointed the dutch keeper <sighs> Bombing on again, Xavi. Oh dear. Oh guys, did you see that? <sighs> Xavi, near post. Van der Sar, what are you doing, son? He's got two hands on it as well, and it still managed to slip in. Is the whole ball over the line? There's no video referees back then, but it looks like it. Rooney, straight over. That's one man you've got. It's 3 0 Barca. They're absolutely walking this one. Um, I'm going to say now, the, the real score in real life was 3 1. You probably knew that. I would have been impressed if Man you pulled that one back to 3-1, but that summed it up. Anderson's free kick going nowhere. Final score there, Barcelona 3, Man United 0. In real life, it's 3-1. I'm pretty impressed with Pez there, and there's the match ratings. It was a pretty poor game, really. Uh, highest rated player, Maxwell. Yeah, what's going on there? So it was short, it was sweet. We're not sure how much of the Pez graphics you could have took there, but you have to remember this game was over five, six years old, so it's just nice to have a little throwback. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, HITC Top Corner Gaming.